In this video, I'll show you how to use the Canon Print app with your Canon printer. So I'll show you the different features and how to connect and add printers to it. Let's get started right away. So the first step is to connect your Canon printer to your Wi-Fi network. The same Wi-Fi network has your device, your iPhone or Android smartphone is currently connected to. I will assume this is already done. It really depends which model you have over here. You need to go into network and connect, add your password and stuff like that. Once you have downloaded the app from the App Store or Google Play Store, you may see this screen where it says search for available printer. Click on search. And if your printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your iPhone or Android device, you're going to see it um, connecting. So let's give it a few seconds. And here we go, we have a green check mark. If this doesn't work, if you cannot connect your phone to your printer, what I suggest is that you restart your iPhone and you restart the printer itself. Turn them both off and power them back on again after 15 seconds. Let me close this. This is the main display of the app where you're going to interact with your printer. On the top, you should see your printer, or if you have multiple ones, you can swipe left and right to see them. Click on it. And from here, you also have uh, printer information. And by clicking there, you're going to see how much ink is left in each colors, or if it's just black and white, you're just going to have um, the ink level of your toner. It's very useful to check this way without having to go on the printer itself. Now, if you return to the app, okay, to the main screen, all the settings are over here. So if you want to print a document or pictures, you have these two options on the top. Let me print a document to show you how easy it is. So I'll click here and now I have to select it where on this device the document is located. In my case, it's in my document. So I'll click over there and then select this one that I want to print. At the end, you simply have to select next. Here, press no. You're going to have different settings. Make sure these settings are okay with you. So it really depends what you're trying to print and stuff like that. If you want to change any of these, click change settings and you'll be able to edit them and press the blue print button. Do not leave this screen until the page has been printed. All right. If you want to scan, you need to click on this green scan icon. Let's input the paper. This uh, printer has a scanner on the top and automatic document feeder. If you have multiple pages, you like to scan at the same time. And to put them there, you just have to align and glide them facing up with the top part of the document towards the left, like that. If you want to use the scanner glass, lift. Okay, put your paper facing down with the top part towards the left side and are you going to notice on one of the corners, okay, there will be a an arrow or a small corner icon. On this Canon printer, the corner icon is located over here. It's hard to see, but it goes like this. It simply means that you need to bring the paper so it touches the uh, corner with the logo. Then on the app itself, you'll make sure that these settings are okay with whatever you're trying to scan. You can change them over here and press scan once you're ready. You can continue scanning. If you have multiple pages, you'll like to combine in one single document or you can press exit. Then the result will appear over there. And with the uh, button located right over here, you see on the lower left side, if you click on it, You'll be able to save it as a JPEG or PDF. I'll select um, PDF. And from here, you can share it with your favorite contacts, share it on your favorite apps. Or if you go down, you'll be able to select save to files, which means that it will be saved on the phone itself. On an Android device, it will look slightly different than this. You may have three little dots on the top right corner where you need to click and have similar options. Otherwise, on the main menu, smartphone copy, it simply means that you're going to scan using the camera phone. It's not very practical, especially if you have a high quality scanner attached to your printer. Cloud, 
cloud will mean that you'll be able to save the scan results on the cloud on Dropbox or other, you know, iCloud stuff like that if you want. But again, it's not very useful because you probably have an app for that already. Create photo item too, not mean people will use it. And at the end you have customize in case, let's say one of these is not very helpful for you. You can actually delete them and simply keep what is important for you. Press done. And now the main display screen of the Canon app is less clutter by options that are not useful in your case. So this is it. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.